Let's start this again. <laughs> Michelle with Crafty Serving. I'm making two shirts today. Two shirts. Both of them how I'm feeling today. One of them is this one. This is exactly how my day is. That's how <laughs> that's how things are going. So I'm doing two shirts. The other one, it is cold outside. We're going to do a shirt for that too. So come say hi. Let me know you're out there. I'm not going to be on long. Let's go ahead and get started. So as I was saying when I didn't have my microphone on, I think I want to place this in a few different places, but I don't want to have to wash it off in between. If I feel like I have to, then I'm only going to do the one and I'll do more later. And then I'll do the second shirt. So I'm going to see if I can't get away with not um, washing it in between. If I think that I'm going to have a messy mess in between, then um, then I'm not going to do this. So the name of this stencil is Ugg. I do have a link up there if you're interested. This one I'm just doing black. I said I'd, I'd like to put it in three places on here, but I'm not sure how the ink will handle without washing it in between. I haven't done that. I usually wash it and redo it. But I'm not going to get up and go wash it. All right. Let me put this over here. Okay. First one, Ugg. So the other one I'm doing is on a teal shirt. That one's going to be pretty. Um, so let's just, I think I have actually have a marker by me, which I normally don't. That way I know I'm not going to place that stencil back on this side of the paper. All right, I'm going to paste it on the other side of the paper because otherwise if it goes on this side, this is extra sticky and you don't want that. Normally if you use uh, it on other surfaces like wood, plastic, um, other things like that, tin, you have to add lint to it, you know, either with, with a t-shirt or with, we have a tacky towel, um, you can do what is that old sweatshirt, just something that's not going to make clumpy lint, but adds lint so it's not so sticky. But seeing we're doing it on a shirt, which is actually how you add lint, we don't have to add anything to that. All right, so let's just do this here. Now I'm going to press it on. Ooh. Really good. You don't want you don't want any air bubbles. That is the main thing. You don't want air bubbles. Let me see. Bring me down just a little bit there. And make sure it's adhered all the way. And I'm trying to do it really, really well, hoping I can get another stencil or two out of it when I'm doing it. I do have a piece of cardboard in between here. You can put parchment paper or something. You want something in between so that it doesn't soak through to the next layer just in case. All right. So I think we got that. All I'm doing is a straight black on here. So this is cold black. It's permanent ink. To heat set it, you either do a hot iron. Um, after it dries, you do a hot iron. Um, a cotton setting, if it handles that hot, you have to heat set it and you do it, it put parchment paper over after it's dried and you do that all over the place for, oh, now I have to think of how long it is. There's instructions on the stencils, okay? Um, I use a heat press all the time, so it's 320 degrees for 20 seconds. But for when you're heat setting it on a shirt with the iron, you have to do it on this side and then you have to do it on the other side, okay? I do it a different way. That's what's recommended. I throw mine in the dryer after the ink is dry. I throw mine in the dryer for a cycle and it dries and it works. Yes, you got me live, Judy. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just using cold black ink. Again, I'm going to see if I can't get two uses without changing, without washing out my stencil. So, just you less is more when you're inking okay you want to make sure you have all the surfaces covered but by doing it real thick and everything that's where you're going to get your bleeding you don't need it thick just nice thin coat and just make sure you get everywhere where you see 
through your surface through to your surface so we're going to scrape this off that's this is just how quick and easy it is like I said I'm gonna try and see if I can't a little on the bottom I can see through if I can't move this down here we're gonna see what we can do we're gonna get all my ink out of the way let's peel and reveal love it love it love it it does not look like I got any on the back we're gonna move it all right now I'm just gonna use a paper towel on top of here so I don't get it all over my hands I'm just pushing it down real good all around you know trying to make sure I don't have air bubbles again cardboard in here. Oh, I'm excited that I was able to just lift it and move it. So the secret is, is make sure it's really, really stuck down all over the place so it doesn't have a chance to bleed behind. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I love the stencil. How many times do you have days that you feel like this? Now, if I feel I can do this one more time, I'm going to. But we'll look at the back of it again, make sure we didn't get any extra bleeding on it. If we got extra bleeding, then I'm going to wait and wash it out and then do it. Right, let's see what we got. You know what? I think we can go for that third time. All right, let me. All right, let me just set this. We're going to put this down over here. Make sure I'm not getting ink on it. And we're going to slide this up. And we're going to do it one more time. Let's slide that cardboard back down in here. Be careful so you're not bending on this shirt because that ink is wet yet. All right, but you got to work quickly because you don't want this ink to dry in the stencil. So we're going to lay this one down here. And we're going to do it one more time. Make sure you get all of that pressed down. Now it is starting to dry a little bit, so I'm hoping this will work because you don't want ink to dry in a stencil. You're not going to get it out of there. We're going as soon as I'm done, we're getting it in a cold water um, bath right next to me. But otherwise, for ink, you really want to get washed out as soon as possible. You don't want to wait. So let's just hope this is works yet. I believe it will. If not, we all learn from my mistakes. One more. And then the other one is going to be a little more prettier colors. But I'm a black girl. I like wearing things with black. Okay. How many of you like wearing clothes that are black? I always do. So the black on the gray works for me too. All right. We're done. We're going to scrape that off, get it in my water here. That worked awesome again. Look at that. How do you like that? I love it. I love it. This is so me. <laughs> love, love, love it. Yes, it's a small stencil, so that works really, really good for it. So, um, we're going to take the cardboard out from in between here, but let's just dry this up a little bit. And then I'll do the next shirt. Okay, so what I'm going to do, it's not 
the recommended by Magnolia, but it sure works for me. Um, I can't guarantee it though for everybody, but I take mine after this is completely dry and not tacky. I throw it in a hot dryer. I throw it in a dryer and let it run a whole cycle. But it has to be dry and not tacky anymore, which, I mean, it's getting there, but I'm going to let it sit for quite a few hours before I will put it in the dryer. But then it's going to be all set and ready. All right, I just wanted it not tacky so I can pull this out and not be afraid that this is going to fold up on each other. I mean, there's still a little... I got black on me from something else, but it's it's pretty good. It's it's pretty good. Yes, Ugh. So that's what I need today. That's what I need. All right, that's number one. Let me do the second one now. Let me just get up and get this out of my way. All right, number one, ugh. Number two is, yes, I'm cold. It's frigid outside. It is so cold outside. So um, this one is just, the name of it is called cold. It is cold. And how many of you have that cold weather? Yes. I'm cold. See how bad my writing is. I I try and write a, a just a private thank you on every single order that goes out from my Etsy shop, and some of them just get so messy. My writing is so bad, and I feel awful. But it's me. I I can't help. I can't help me. All right. So oh gosh. I did that on the wrong shirt. All right, I'm going to get up and get a different shirt. Dang, that's a big UG, just like that shirt. I really wasn't thinking. Yeah, it won't work on this either. We're going to do it on a white shirt. I'm not crazy about doing it on white because I don't wear white very often, although I don't wear white very often. But the colors I'm using are going to need white. All right, this this is just, I wanted so bad to put these colors on a gray shirt. Ugh, how many times am I going to say ug now because of my shirt? All right, yes, I'm cold. We're going to put that on here. I really wanted it on this gray shirt because you'll see what colors I'm using, and I think it would be gorgeous. All right, I usually just eyeball my my shirts. What I do is look at up the sides here with the neck. Although that's pretty close over here. Why is that? My neck looks off. I'm looking at the sides here too. All right, I think that's good. Is it easier to ink on, on a sweatshirt or t-shirt? I love inking on sweatshirts. Either one, sweatshirt or t-shirt. I love either one. The secret is just to make sure it's really pushed down well so that you don't get the bleeding behind it. And less is more when it comes to ink. You don't want big globs of ink. You, you know, it's just a nice, smooth texture of ink that you're putting on and just make sure it's really pushed down so it's really sealed. And that's why I was able to do that UGG three times is because if it's really pushed down and sealed, that ink is not going to flow behind there. But again, less is more. You just want to get it covered, not have any kind of thick amounts on there. All right. Now see the colors I was going to use that would have been beautiful on that shirt. I'm using a sparkling gray for the snowflakes, which I may end up putting a couple snowflakes on the sleeves here too, all right? And we're using baby blue. Would that have not looked good on that shirt? That would have looked gorgeous on that shirt. Now we're using, you know, I have a black 
just a black t-shirt. I have just a black t-shirt. I'm not a fan of white. All right, we're going to do it here because that's what I got. I have a black t-shirt. This would have been really cute, though, on the black t-shirt, too. We'll just do this. All right, let's get our stuff out and do this, and then we'll be done. Oh, I can show you that other kit, too. I got that laying here, my new kit that I'm going to be putting in. Yeah, the blue is so pretty. Like I said, it would have been so cute on that gray. But just can't do it. All right, I think I'm going to do gray on all the snowflakes and all the way around that glittering silver. And then we're going to do the blue on this middle. Yeah, it, it did seep through a little. So you want to make sure something's in between. What I might do is slide this in between when I'm doing a sleeve or something. Because I want, usually I'll use parchment paper or maybe I'll use a paper towel in between. You don't want it to soak through. All right, let's do the blue first. Yeah, I like black too. And, but I already have it on here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm cold. Part done. It'll look pretty on here. I'm just not a white fan. I, I don't wear white much. And on second thought, I'm not going to put these snowflakes on this shirt just because it's going to take me a while to get it placed, I think. And then this is going to dry in there. So we can't allow it to dry. I could get different snowflakes if I wanted and put on the sleeves. But for right now, we're just going to do this. Oh, that was a whole big lap. All right, that's our blue. Oh, did I open this? Look how pretty the sparkling silver is. <laughs> yeah, I would stain it all the time, too. I think this would have been so pretty on that gray shirt, though. Even with the silver, you wouldn't have seen a lot of it, but you would have saw a touch of it. It's like that tone on tone that I always like doing. It's like that. That's what I felt it would have brought out on there. So I don't know how much you're going to really see this on here. I'm just trying to be very careful here. I actually picked up a little blue. We're going to have a little blue in my snowflake, which actually probably would be sort of pretty. All right, scrape all the excess off. Looks like it's good coverage. Let's let's do it. That is pretty. It is pretty. A towel. That is really pretty. All right, can you see that? Let me let me just get this out of the way because the way my UG day is going. 
I'm going to drop my ink open too. Isn't that pretty? That actually is really pretty. Let's dry it up a little bit. Yeah, these ink colors would go really good on a lot. Let's try it up a little bit. And I'll probably put a few snowflakes on the sleeves. I have another stencil that I can do that with. I'll just put parchment paper in between the sleeves and do some on the sleeves, possibly. You know, I can get my black t-shirt out and put another stencil on if y'all want to watch. You guys let me know if you want to watch one more stencil. I'll go grab I have I have all kinds of stencils here and I love making shirts. So if you want to watch one more stencil, I'll go grab that black shirt and do one more. Yeah, it would look nice on any color shirt, right? You know what? Let's do a, we'll do a random act of kindness. Anybody that wants to stay for another shirt, we'll do another shirt. All right. So I'll show you these two shirts though. And then like I said, I am going, I'll show you the kit I, kit I painted this morning. If you didn't already see that, I'll show you the kit that's going to be added to my Etsy shop. Probably shortly after I get off live, I have to, I took pictures. I just got to finish. All right. So that did turn out really, really cute. Uh, they, there just seems to be a lot of things today. But it could be worse. It could be worse. Much worse. So this was the first one I did. And the only reason why I'm able to move it around is because I did dry it. So otherwise, you have to be careful. Leave it lay flat. All right. So that's my Ugg shirt. Let me go grab one more stencil. And we'll do that. Actually, so we'll see. Seeing they go so fast, I already got two done. This is my third shirt. So if you want to do these for presents for people, look at how quick it goes. Where do I get my shirts? These are all Hobby Lobby because they're always um, discounted and they're nice shirts and they wash well. They don't shrink. I love their shirts. Oh, baby bath hooded towels. That would be so cute. Oh, that's awesome, Mary. I'm so happy that she's going to. All right, so bless. Bless, bless your heart. This is a really cute stencil, too. I love this stencil. Um, I debated on doing it in burgundy, but I really think either white or the black, but I think the black, right? Let's do black. White would be really cute with this too. Yeah, the font is real cool and it's like old fashioned. It's sort of like rustic. So again, that's me. That's me, I like the rustic. All right. Try an eyeball again. Uh-oh, I see a white. I see two blacks. I think the black wins. The white, honestly, would be really pretty on here, though, too, wouldn't it? Really would. Again, just make sure it's really pressed down well all the way around those letters. You know what would be really pretty on here, too, is a brown. Wouldn't a brown be pretty? Like a dark brown? I think I like the idea of a brown. What do you guys think? Do you need to defuzz? No, you do not need to fuzz your stencils first when you're doing it on fabric because you put it on fabric to, I'm looking, is this crooked? Um, you put it on fabric in order to add the lint to it. So it's not going to stick tight. The reason why you add fuzz to it is so that it doesn't stick tight to something. 
Okay, so it doesn't stick tight to here. I don't have to get up no more. <laughs> I brought my ink with me. I think I have brown. Otherwise, I also have like this. Oh, chocolate brown. <laughs> chocolate brown. We're using chocolate brown today. I have no place to put everything right now. Yes, chocolate brown. I'm excited about this one. Um, I love stenciling on shirts. I just really, really do. Favorite thing for me to do with my Magnolia stencils. Absolutely my favorite thing. I don't think this is even open. It's not. So I'm going to try and do this without making a mess. So what I do usually is I just take, like, you can get these stir sticks with them or just use something, and I just go around the outside of that, in, the outside of the inside you go around. I love teal and brown together. Actually, the old colors in my in our living room was that. All right, we're just going to peel this off. I'm not going to worry about saving what's stuck on here. I'll just make more of a mess that way. But make sure you don't have any on here. I love this color brown. Look at this. Look at that. It's going to be cute, cute, cute. All right, let's do this. And ink is a lot thinner than what chalk paste is. So that's why the consistency of it, I, I just love using it. It just spreads on so smooth. But again, when you use permanent ink, you have to get it washed out right away. I have mine in water behind me as soon as I was done. Even that, sometimes I struggle getting it off. And I sometimes ruin a stencil because it takes me a little bit to get to washing it. So you got to wash it off right away when you're done. Don't do what I do by sticking it in water and just leaving it sit there. You know, because you may not get all of it off. Now, it will stain your stencil. That's okay, but it's just so it doesn't stick in the open areas of the silk screen is what you don't want it to do. All right, let's scrape this off. Now, I peel it back slowly. I think you know, maybe notice that on the last two that I did. I peeled it back very slowly just so that if I need to lay it back down, I can lay it back down right where it was. All right. But this is such a rustic kind of font. It's okay if, you, if some would be even this. I don't think you would notice it. It looks like some mist, but that's just the font. It's like that old font. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Larry wants to wear this shirt. No, Cash, get out of there. Cash wants to drink my water now. Thank you, Jackie. I always know when it's you. Yeah, the color is awesome. Let's try it off a little bit so I can hold it up for you. And then I'll show you the other two. And then um, I can show you the kits if you want to see the kits. Yeah, but yeah, I love this color. So I guess it's okay that I, I messed up a little bit on what shirt I was going to use for what. Again, you always have to heat set. I explained that several times. I won't go through it again. There's also instructions all the time. Or you can always message me and ask too. 
I may not see it till later, though, because when I work, I can't always answer. And it looks sort of like your cowboyish kind of font to me. It reminds me of like a, like a, a country shirt. I love that. I love that. So I'll wear this on my next slide. Like I said, when it's done, when it's completely dry, I mean, I just throw all three of them in the dryer, all right, and just let them run a whole cycle, and that heat sets it. If I mean, that's not what Magnolia recommends, so I can't recommend it for you that it's 100%, but that's what I do, and I know some other people do it. So love, love, love it. So, so all right, y'all have a good one. And we'll hope to see you soon.